Hello everyone, my name is Sin Murray and this is Star Sector version 0.95a. And this is my cautious laser wolf. Now, this wolf is very useful because of one very specific thing. It uses 255 flux, it has a flux dissipation of 280, and its shields being up cost it 300, so therefore so for everything to fire, it costs 285 flux. What that means is that this can fire forever, just like many other things in my armadas. But the other thing is, it does it all from max range, which is over a thousand. So many enemies who are not built to hard counter this will uh, fall victim to it. So what's the downside then? Well, it doesn't do a sheer, it doesn't do a ton of damage. Of damage. But let's look at uh, what else it has. It has the Flux Distributor, just to get that extra little oomph out of its shields. Integrated Darting Unit, so it gets a little bit extra range, about 100. This one gets 80. Integrated Point Defense AI, so that the tactical lasers can, um, well, shoot down missiles as well. Stabilized Shields, to reduce the cost of keeping the shields up. Advanced Optics, to increase everything's range by 200. And advanced turn gyro so that all of these turn faster. But yeah, against most of the smaller ships, this is just absolute death. So a good test. The wolf costs five points to push out, and each hound costs three. I think. Is it three? It's either three or two, I think it's three. But uh, what you'll find is that the wolf will slowly kill one of them. And then it will slowly kill the other. About this wolf, um, I'm not going to target it because if I do, we'll actually start targeting that one. But he's done a good amount of damage to this one, and what's going to happen is he's going to drive one of them off and then kill the other one. He might just kill this one. But he's already doing a decent amount of damage to it, and the only real impact it's having on his Lux is from uh, its kinetic weapons. However, when the wolf starts to get chased down like that, it can just bring down its shields. Now it can just jump away, and not a big deal for it. Regardless of where its flux is, it can just continue to deal damage. And there you go. Not a whole lot those hounds can do. So what happens when we throw more at it? That's the hound, the wolf is worth five. So how does it hang, how does it deal with a single lasher? Well, very much the same. It's just the lasher has shields. So, how this is going to play out is the lasher is going to try and keep its shields up and start to drop them while the wolf slowly pours through it. So it will eventually drop its shields. Uh, for whatever reason, the AI doesn't like to keep them up when it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of damage incoming. And so, the Lasher will effectively uh, kill itself against this. As you can see, that dropping of its shields, because it doesn't seem to be taking a lot of damage, is what makes the wolf able to win this battle more easily. But for against smaller frigates, this makes the wolf the ultimate frigate killer. Against uh, some destroyers, it can also do extremely well. I assume against a Shrike, it can do great. We'll, we'll put it up against that just right after this. Against carriers, it doesn't really do so well. Simply because it doesn't have the killing potential needed to kill all the fighters very quickly and then uh, actually kill the, kill the carrier. Now, as you can notice, this is actually taking a little bit of time. And really that's just an aspect of how this is. It's trying to use its lasers, uh, those probably won't be particularly effective. Uh, unless, of course, the wolf doesn't do a good job, at which point they are effective. But the Lasher will be slowly taken apart here. It already used its Hail Mary... Um, 
harpoons and is pretty much dead at this point. If it tries to close in with the wolf, the wolf will just back off and then teleport away. If it tries to flux, it will slowly just die. But yeah. This uh, wolf build is incredibly dangerous, but let's see how it does against a Shrike, which is more than twice its, um, its points. So the Shrike, it has a decent range, and what it really wants to do is bring that main gun online. Now, <laughs> we're actually seeing the problem here for the wolf. Um, its current build, the damage it's doing to the Shrike's shields is lower than the Shrike's total flux uh, dissipation. So it's doing a net of zero damage. However, it is gonna, it would be keeping the Shrike busy, and so that's the good part. But uh, yeah, that's, that's where it starts to have problems. It's great against unarmored targets. It's great against targets with low flux dissipation like other frigates. But against destroyers, it's less than optimal, we could say. And against everything that doesn't have amaz everything that doesn't have shields, it's yeah, it's death, effectively. I'm not so sure how it works against uh, shuttles. We'll have to test that uh, once it's done uh, melting the front of this ship. But yeah, it's kind of just able to do its own thing. And as I said, the optimal, the best part about this is that it can do this while also not having to have a reckless officer on it like so many other ships do. Let's go ahead and put it up against a shuttle. Um, if we can find a shuttle. Uh, let's see, we'll try to do multiple shuttles, but um, okay, yeah. That will have to do. So how does it do against shuttles? I, I assume decently well. Shuttles probably try to keep their shields up until it's a bit too much, and then they die. That's my assumption. Oof. That wolf is like, you've got my attention now. And then it dies. Because this wolf is fantastic at dealing with one enemy, but not necessarily two, and it can't just kill them. And now it dies. Alright, is the... <laughs> Alright, but the wolf will not win that battle. But there we go. In a one-on-one -on -one against another frigate, this wolf is just terrifyingly deadly. Against multiple frigates, probably less so. Anyway, uh, that is the, I guess, the keep-away wolf. <laughs> keep-away laser wolf. Doesn't do burst damage, but does do a decent job at playing keep-away. Alright guys, my name is Vinfin Murray. This has been Star Sector version 0.95a. And I'll catch you later. Go ahead, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with whoever you think would like it. Bye!